What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze. Here we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope he's having a very good day today. So, today, we're actually going to go ahead and talk about the Worldwide Campaign Celebration Dokkan Fest banner. Which banner is better or which banner should you summon on? Because there's going to be part A and part B. Or should you, in fact, just use your Memorial Dragonstone to actually get yourself a copy of a Dokkan Fest instead? So, before we actually go into that debate... Uh, well, I'll we'll actually quickly talk about the Memorial Dragonstone. So basically how it works is that from August to August, um, this is the 2019 Worldwide Celebration, but or 2020, I guess, uh, Worldwide Celebration. But how it really works is that basically from August to August, from a specific date in August, uh, you will get one Memorial Dragonstone for every 50 Dragonstones um, spent in that time period. Now, this is pretty good if you're like a whale or like a small dolphin. But if you're a free-to-play player, this is really not that great. Um, and one of the reasons why is because, as we see here from each of the Worldwide Celebrations, to actually get one copy, not a full rainbow, one copy of a Dokkan Fest that you want specifically, it's going to cost you 150 Memorial Dragonstones. But do keep in mind, like they said before, it's one Memorial Dragonstone for every 50 Dragonstones that you actually use in the game of Dokkan. So technically, if you're doing your match here, if you times basically... Uh, 150 Memorial Dragonstones, right, times 50, it's going to be basically 7,500 Dragonstones that you should, that's actually going to cost you for one old Dokkan Fest. Because again, this is not a new Dokkan Fest, this is a old Dokkan Fest. Now, is it really worth it to actually, you know, use 150 Memorial Dragonstones for one Dokkan Fest character? It really depends on your account. If you're a new player in the game of Dokkan, absolutely not, or especially if you're free to play, Absolutely not, and one of the reasons why is because um, you're only getting a character at 55%, not even rainbowed, 55%. So that's just really not worth it because um, characters at 55%, if they're not like the newest unit, um, like for example, let's just say here, um, you get here, for example, uh, I want to say God Goku, right, because he's part of Part B banner at 55%. He is not going to take you very far when it comes to these tough bosses, so definitely not worth it if you are a free to play player um, or it's just a player in general that doesn't spend that many Dragonstones. It's just much better to actually exchange here for your tickets because um, at least you can pull, you have a chance of pulling multiple um, Dokkan Fest. Maybe it might not be the one that you want specifically, but at least you can actually pull multiple Dokkan Fest, which will make your account a lot better um, compared to just having one character at 55%. So. Um, it's really this option is more for whales or for small dolphins who have characters at like 90% and want, and want to try and get them rainbowed. This is a good option for them, but as far as the free-to-play player, definitely do not want to go ahead and, um, and exchange just for one copy. Um, if it was maybe fully rainbowed, then it would be a, a different discussion, but, uh, it's just only one copy at 55%. So you definitely want to go ahead and exchange this for your tickets. As far as the banner for part A and part B... Uh, right now, you could summon on it. Right now, you can only do singles. But as far as summoning on the banner, it is going to cost you seven Worldwide Celebration tickets to do a multi-summon. And looking at the banner for both Part A and Part B, um, I would definitely say that Part A is definitely better. This one does have some hidden gems. Like, for example, we have here, of course, um, Tech Ultimate Gohan, which is very good. You also have PyCon as well, which is also uh, pretty good here as well because of his access skill, which is aged very, very well. Um, you also have your future Gohan, you have here, of course, a Super Saiyan Goku, and Broly as well, which is really good for Super Battle Road. Um, we already know here that Vegeta is going to get easy in the future, which is pretty good. Uh, Kid Gohan just, I mean, sorry, Kid Goku just not the greatest as far as an easy A. Um, and the rest of the characters, like, the first eight characters, I want to say, are just not the greatest anymore, right? Um, I would probably say Super Saiyan 2 slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku is kind of okay. But the rest right here, they're just not that great. Um, a 4 g Cell, I'm not the biggest fan of him. Very good for Super Bad Road, but when you're doing like Ultimate Red Zone, you kind of have to hide him until he goes into his third form or his perfect form. Then that's where he gets great, but uh, it's just much too much hassle for this character. So, um, But I would say looking compared to Part A of the banner, um, I would say you definitely get a lot more value with your tickets, right? You have Captain Ginyu, who's still pretty good at certain events. Um, you have your Majin Vegeta, which is very good if you have the LR Trunks and Vegeta. You also have your, of course, the Androids, who are actually really good in the current Ultimate Red Zone. 
against Cell because uh, Cell does a beam attack and they do a guaranteed nullification. Plus, they have a free Ghost Usher, which I do have a video of, of them running. Um, so, it'll be up later today. Uh, I could go on kind of aged out, but he still has a beautiful active skill with the guard ability and the healing. So, uh, I think Kid Gohan is definitely good for your box here as well. Uh, we know here that Beerus is getting an easy A. And what really makes this battle a lot better is, of course, Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? Like, he's the god of Dokkan. <laughs> well, actually, no, he's not. He's not. Uh, one of the main reasons why is because of these two Dokkan Fest, Kalkan Goku and Piccolo, are actually really top tier when it comes to the easy A's. And also, you have your Gogeta. So, these three right here, just the fact that they have a, a very good easy A, already puts this, I want to say, banner to shame, in a, in a sense, just a little bit. Um, because uh, these guys can take you very, very far in the game of Dokkan, especially Piccolo and Kalkan Goku and Gogeta. But I think I prefer Kalkan Goku just because um, of his guard ability when you have a another Universal Survival Saga on the rotation. Like, he can do some pretty good damage. Um, you also have Vegeta, you have Bardock, and you have 17. They're also pretty decent when it comes to their easy as well. Um, but more importantly, it's the big three right here that are actually going to make this banner a lot better, especially if you're a new player in the game of Dokkan. Um, you also have Cooler here as well, which works pretty well, um, kind of decent, but you also have your Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I'm sorry, Vegeta, sorry, that um, is still pretty good to this day uh, when it comes to like basically taking a sh being a shield for big damage bosses. Um, do you have Golden Frieza here as well? Uh, you only have the Tech one, you don't have the AGL one. Is AGL Frieza on this one? No, because he's not a Dokkan Fest, okay. So... Yeah, I would say definitely part A is going to be definitely something if you're new playing a game of Dokkan to use your Worldwide Celebration tickets on um, to summon on because it's just a lot better options compared to this banner right here. Um, you also actually have your Super Buu as well, but Super Buu doesn't have a, a proper 20% leader skill, so he's kind of wonky. Now, the chances of you pulling an SSR, a featured SSR, is going to be 5%. But the fact that you want a specific character is going to be very, very slim because there's just so many Dokkan Fests. So this is why if you're someone that's just missing that one copy to rainbow your units, this is where exactly where you want to go ahead and the Baba Shop exchange it. But if your account is just fresh new for like the last past six months and you, let's say you have like 150 Memorial Dragonstones specifically, then you actually want to convert that to all the two tickets right here and then summon on the banners and, you know, potentially get more bang for your money right so uh that's gonna be my two cents about the dokkan fest banner so hopefully this was able to help you guys out uh let me know down below which banner you guys think is better you think part a is better or part b is better um and if also if you guys do have your memorial dragon stones are you going to summon on it or are you going to pick up a specific character that you always wanted or try to rainbow um but guys let me know down below all right so again i would say thank you for watching um if you guys enjoyed uh, please like the button. I mean, please hit the like button. <laughs> Sub for more videos coming down below. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!